good. There's a good woman and a man. And everybody of flesh that walks across this earth. And I don't care what they've done. There's still a good in there. And Jesus is the one that can bring that good out. He's the one that can bring the good out of you. Because that fellow was on the way to jail. And him and his family are fat. And what can put a home together is Jesus Christ. What can put a family together is Jesus Christ. I thought that I, I was a father and a husband. I thought that I loved my wife and my daughter. But when I got saved, I realized what love was really Jesus. I realized then that I was I loving my wife and my daughter. I seen them for the first time through the eyes of God, through the spiritual eyes that he had given me. Because this old man had laid down and give up they so earthly things. And it had took a hold of that good thing. Now it's a drinking on that new wine. And it'll never run dry. But I can't wait till the day comes that I drink it with him in the kingdom of heaven. I can't wait and I'm a going that way. Praise be to God. Everybody's a worried about the end of the time of coming. When is it a coming? It's a coming when the Father tells Jesus to go and get my church and bring them on home. But if you die tonight and you die lost, the end has come upon you. And you will get your just rewards. And you'll not be judged by a man. You'll be judged by God. And if that blood has not been applied to your life, hell will be your home, youngins. And there's no call for it. People will say, you've got to give this up. You've got to give that up. You've got to give your money. You've got to do this stuff. You've got to give your soul to Jesus. And that's what you've got to do. He says, I bought and paid for with a price. And that price is the shed blood. And I no other name and under heaven by which that a man can be saved except that of Jesus Christ. And they can say, I don't like this old blood salvation. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. I wished it hadn't have been that way where he'd have had to take and shed his blood. But I thank God that he did. And I'm not a mourning him. I'm hanging on that cross no more. I'm a celebrating his victory or rising up out of that grave. He defeated death, hell, and the grave. And we will do the same. They say, no, you won't. You'll die some of these days. Yes, I'll die. This old flesh will lay down. It'll go back to the earth to where it come from. And don't let nobody tell you that it's going to rise out there and go to heaven. Now, this soul is going to put on a new body and it's going to be like that unto Jesus. And it's going to enter into that kingdom and never more to hurt and suffer anymore. We'll be a singing and we'll be a shouting and we'll be a praising God. And there won't be nobody saying, you better be quiet or we're going to throw you out of church. You better be in order. You can't be a part of this. Honey, Jesus is the order. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And he says that he seeks those to worship him and the Father in the Spirit and in the truth to do what the Holy Ghost would bid you to do. They won't talk about the Holy Ghost. They say that a, a hit us for the a Pentecost or the holiest. A praise be to God if you ain't got it, you ain't saved. You've got to have that Spirit of God. The Bible says if you have not the Spirit, you are none of His. And it tells me that my soul is sealed until the day of redemption by that sweet Spirit that came in and set up its abode in my life. And it made a new creature out of me. Amen. Amen. Just like that wine was the best wine. Jimmy, the best part of my life is when I got saved. Amen. The second part of my life 
is a lot better than the first part because I throwed the first part away of running after the world. A running out of things that I shouldn't have been running out of. Hey, pal, people was, uh, would go on and talk, and Mommy would beat us, she'd whoop us and try to make us do right. But the varmints would catch her head turned. We was doing evil again. We was doing wrong again. She wanted us to do right because she had been young one time. And now I have been young, and I want my youngins to be uh, do right and to be good. But youngins, they get away, and they do the things. They search out of the world. They try it, and it says that, uh, there is uh, pleasure in sin for a small season. But you know, say, all we can do is keep it down and try to slow it down a little bit. Let us tell our youngins there's a heaven and there's a hell. There's a heaven to gain and there's a hell to shine. But praise be to God. Are you a shining hell tonight? The only reason you've got to go to hell is because that you want to accept Jesus Christ as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Praise God. He is he is my all and my all. He is my king. He is my master. He is everything unto me. I take and follow him before I follow my wife. God comes first in my life and I praise him every day for coming into my life and sitting in a prison boat. Amen. Amen. Huh.